It's Dangerous Woman, her last, the last song that she performed that night, and she had just gotten off stage and the lights just went on, just went on, and then it happened, and honestly, the entire arena just went silent. It was so quiet when it happened. Everybody literally just froze and then we looked around before we started rushing out of our seats and then they told us that it was nothing and then a guy went up went on stage and told that it was nothing that we should take our time going out which honestly is really smart because if they were to say that something bad had happened outside there could have been more injuries because every there would be a stampede so that was smart so we went up the steps because as arena's heart goes down and i was at the bleachers ish so we went up the stairs as moderate pace has but still quite crushed and the thing is once once we got back to like the normal level, got off the stairs, we were asked to run. Like, run. And it was so scary because you don't know what was happening. First they tell you it's okay and then they tell you to start running and then so we started running. And I was with one of my grandmothers so... It was really confusing, it was scary. And another thing is, we're not from England, we're not from Manchester, so we, and that exit that we had to go through was a different one. My aunt had told us to go to the exit where we went in so that we wouldn't get lost, and we couldn't do anything about it. My grandma, when we got out, told me that we should go back inside and go to where my aunt told us to wait. And I'm like, we have no idea what happened. We can't go back inside. Something might happen. And honestly, at that time, none of us knew what happened. We were just told that one of the balloons, because there were huge ass balloons dropped during sometimes. And... We, and you were told it was just one of the balloons and that some kid just pulled a prank on something and that exploded and caused a panic about among all of us and so we're on the streets of Manchester and everything if you look around your surroundings it's actually heartbreaking and it made everything so much scarier you're already in a foreign country where you don't know where 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 you are and what the hell is happening and then you see locals themselves girls my age having panic attacks crying and this is honestly so stupid we should have had my aunt's phone neither my grandmother and i had a uk number so we couldn't contact my aunt to go and pick us up because her husband was going to pick us up. We couldn't tell her what happened. And thank God, I found Wi-Fi on the streets. So, bless you, Manchester, for having Wi-Fi on the streets. And that way, I was able to contact her and tell her. And I honestly was shaking. Like, I don't know what happened. Something just blew up and they told us to go out. And yes, the concert is already done. It was finished. It ended. And something blew up and then we were asked to leave and I told her where the surroundings because I have no idea where it was we asked a couple on the street what street is this and neither did they know I was like oh my god I'm doomed the thing was premiere and in distance and another and like a billboard like right in front of us and then they were able to uh, pick us up and then when we got home it was like around 11 at night 11 or almost midnight they told me that i should eat my aunt and i should eat my grandma and i we told that my grandma and i should eat because all we had were like sausage rolls 
like before when we ate at Greg's real quick before the concert. I told them I'd eat later, but I'd eat later. And we're all just laughing because we're all just laughing and stuff. Because we didn't we still didn't know what happened. We were still being told that it was just a freaking balloon that some teenage boy pulled a prank for. And then everybody went to sleep about an hour later and then in that hour and when they were all asleep that's when I that's when it was confirmed to her that it was actually a bomb and I couldn't sleep that night and I was up like 3 4 a.m. and honestly it was hard to cope with my mom None, my parents weren't with me, so I didn't really know how good I must have been a scar. But my parents were with me. And I think it was, a, it was a bit harder for me to get over or like try and recover from it because the next morning they were so quiet. And I knew that, okay, they found out, they still found out while they were all asleep, and I missed up my scar. Where was I? Yeah, they found out, and they weren't talking much about it, and I just, I locked myself in, in our room and just started crying. My mom called me again because she let me sleep. Because none of us told her either. I mean, I didn't tell her. I didn't inform her because she was panicking at like 3 a.m. UK time. Because neither did I tell her that I was okay. She found out, found out about it. But none of us were answering, were turning her calls. But then I returned at some point, and she started crying. I started crying. <laughs> she wanted to see me, but it was all dark and everyone was asleep. So I told her I'll show her in the morning when it's day. And I did. And they started asking me, tell me about what happened. And I was just shaking the whole day, May 23rd, because I was still in a state of shock. I couldn't believe it happened. I couldn't believe it actually happened. And I was so mad also because I was supposed to not be able to sleep because I wouldn't get over seeing an idol and not because the Ariana Grande concert I went to got bombed. It wasn't how it was supposed to go. It wasn't how my night was supposed to go. It wasn't supposed to be a downfall of my summer. Oh my god. Life goes on. My heart goes out to 22 people who died. Always. These ones much if crying this way. Despite that happening, I still wish. I just wish that I can be in Manchester today. I want to be there for everyone else who with me that night. Because I know it's hard to go back out there and I wanted to visit the memorial area where everyone put flowers but we didn't have time I guess before I left because my flight was on June 3rd and one love was at June 4th we it was that hurt me a lot but it shouldn't mm, my message to you guys is that to whoever's watching is that it shouldn't take something like this or a near death experience for you to value your life to be thankful because life isn't fair you don't know when you're gonna go how long you're gonna live what's gonna happen you never know I just continue to live every day and even if what happened haunts me so much, 
I actually thought that I fully recovered. PTSD is done, gone. But it was last night when I was going through my mutuals and seeing how, remembering how everything went. I'm not, I'm not over it yet. It was June 23rd, a month out, 22nd, a month after everything happened. I was bawling my eyes out despite I was in school. Here I am this morning, <laughs> bawling my eyes out again. But even if I do cry about it, I get mad about what happened, get mad at the world. I'm so, so thankful that I'm safe, even if. I don't, I don't, I don't know, it's just how it is. The reason I chose to still go to Harry Styles' concert in November is because I didn't want to live in fear. The One Love concert helped, even if I didn't go to, go, attend. So helps helped see everyone from that night go there and going against fear and choosing love as did I choose to go and still see Harry Styles. I just want to quickly mention I have one greedy money during greedy and I was just trying to grab it. It was in the air but it was too short. A taller guy got it. I didn't actually catch this and he saw that I was trying to grab for it and he gave it to me so I hope he's safe. I hope he's happy. I hope, I hope he's happy because that's so nice. It's so nice that he actually gave me one of the greedy money that he caught. And I'm forever thankful for that guy. Thank you so much. He will never watch this, but thank you. And yeah, there's enough, there's enough sadness for one video. I'm trying to like think of what shades to go with these. Another giant haul. It's the wrong match. Okay. I'm gonna put on my lips. It's natural lip scars. people, 22 angels who are taking them. I'm really tired night to be too emotional. <laughs> so yeah, I'm just gonna go and say a quick prayer. This is the church where my parents went to the day after the attack when they found out it happened. And yeah, I'm gonna go.